Hello everyone, Jeanette here with Vivo Vintage Designs and this little guy here is Diesel. So welcome to today's video, but before we get started, let me mention that all the products used and links will be in the description box just below. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already and give me a thumbs up if you find this video helpful and you enjoyed it. All right, let's get to business. Pens, pencils, markers, and brushes. How do you store them? This is a question I see asked very often. And in this video today, I will show you how to store them so that they last you a good long time. So stay tuned. Okay, so in this video, I'm going to teach you how to properly store your pencils, your dual tipped markers, your paint brushes, and your single ended pens or markers. So I think most people, these are alcohol, let's move this out of the way. These are alcohol ink markers. And if you're anything like me, you want easy access to the colors. You want to know what you're pulling out. However, these markers have two ends. One is fine, the other is broad. It's really important that you keep the ink inside the marker in contact with the nibs. Otherwise they dry out and it makes it difficult for the ink to flow through a dried nib. So alcohol ink markers or any dual ended marker that you have should be kept horizontally so that the ink is in contact with each nib. So if you're keeping your markers like this, they're not going to last you as long. They're not going to flow. The ink will not flow as well. So you should keep them on their sides. And that is alcohol ink markers or dual tipped markers. Pencils. I keep my pencils pointed up. You should keep them in a, this is just a mason jar and it keeps them all together. And I, I keep my pencils with the point up because I can easily see the color. When you put them face down and they're grouped together, you can't really see the tips. Uh, you don't know what color you're pulling out. Also, if I put them with the point down, I end up breaking the point often. So I find it easier to keep my pencils with the points up so I can easily see the color and not break the points. Now, these are my Posca pens, my other um, acrylic paint pens, my Micron pens, and other and a gel pen as well. So any pens or markers that you have with a single tip should be kept with the point facing down again so that the ink is in contact with the nib. And I know that when I first started, I kept them with the point with the uh, this way because I wanted to see what color I was grabbing. It's difficult to see them this way. So what I do when I use them is I grab a dish, I pull out the markers and the colors that I need and I lay them in the dish. And that way I can easily see the color and have access to them. So it's an extra step, but it helps to preserve these markers. They're not cheap. So you want to make sure that you take good care of them and that you store them properly so that they last you for a while. And the same it goes for your Micron pens, gel pens, and any single tipped marker or pen that you have. This is the best way to store them. Now, this little container, which was purchased at a dollar store, I literally paid a dollar for this little basket, and it has three little compartments, and it keeps everything nice and organized and separated and easy to grab when I need them. Now, let's get to brushes. So, you know that I've been doing watercolor, and I've spent a few dollars on some brushes. I bought uh, professional quality brushes, so I want to to make sure that I store them the proper way and that I don't damage them because I don't want to have to replace them anytime soon. So the best way to store your um, brushes is to, once you're done using them, make sure you rinse them well and I lay them flat on a paper towel just for a little while. But once I'm ready to put them away, I made this, you, there's little gadgets that you can buy to keep your brushes, uh, to dry your brushes the right way. But I just made this myself. It's just a plastic container. I think it had grated cheese in it. And I put a little paper towel in the bottom. I cut some slits on the sides and on the lid. And with a razor blade, I cut little X's on the top. And what I do is from the inside of the lid, 
I poke my brush through. I don't go bristle first because that'll ruin your brush. And I do this. And then I can dry my brushes with the point down. Now you want to make sure that the tip does not come in contact with the paper. You don't want it to bend because it can ruin a brush. So make sure that the tip is not in contact, direct contact with the paper or touching anything else. And the reason you want to dry your brush brushes upside down is because if you store them like this to dry, the water collects down here and it can deactivate the glue that holds the bristles in place. And depending on the quality of your brush, it can also begin to rust. So you want to make sure that you dry them with the bristles pointing down. Once they're completely dry, you can just easily pull it out and store them upright. So those are my hints for storing your dual-ended markers and pens single-ended markers and gel pens, colored pencils, and your brushes. I hope you found this video helpful, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up, leave any comments below, and be sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram at Vivo Vintage Designs. Thanks for watching, everyone.